The reason we created JetBlue Scholars primarily is because our, our crew members, we call our employees crew members, but they were asking for educational development. Um, they were asking for tuition reimbursement. They were asking for educational assistance. And JetBlue's um, a pretty new airline in, in the industry. We've been around for 17 years. And in, in our first 15 years, we didn't have any form of educational assistance. Um, for some of you that know JetBlue, that may seem at odds with our culture and our values. Um, but the reason we didn't do it is because our, our annual budget that we could allocate was $1,500 to $2,000 per year. And so we asked ourselves, is this going to make a difference? And the answer was no. Because if you tell a crew member or an employee, or an employee at any organization, hey, we're going to help you get your college degree. Here's $1,500. It's almost more insulting than anything, right? Because you all know that you can't do hardly anything for $1,500. Um, and so we, we did a bunch of research and we figured out that if we could leverage non-traditional pathways to college credit um, through organizations like NCCRS and ACE, uh, that we could actually cover an entire year of our crew members' college on that same budget. And so that's what we did. We, we built a program that enables us to cover the entire cost of a full year of school, 15 to 18 credits or more. Some people take more than that um, while working. And, um, and, and it's all built on, on this non-traditional credit model. And, um, and so when people enroll in the program, they first we help them get credit for the knowledge they already have. Um, we, we help them get credit for FAA licenses and certifications, IT certificates, uh, work experience, JetBlue training that they have to, to, to get when they come on the job. And, and this is true for pilots and flight attendants and mechanics and, and airport operations crew members and in-flight crew members. Um, and so we help them get that credit and transfer any college, um, transfer in any college that they, that they have. And then we enroll them in online courses that we pay for upfront um, through those non-traditional uh, course providers. 